welcome we have a new series it's another series where it's a game I've already played it's a game I've played twice two or three times before and I have been unsuccessful with having every character survive by the end I get close every single time it's always someone in the cabin who dies and it drives me crazy so we're gonna go through this and hopefully everyone survives Smallest decision can dramatically change the can change the future. Yeah. Your action, your actions will, sh your actions will shape how the future unfolds. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. I know how to make sure everyone survive. I just need to make sure I don't move. Your story is one of many possibilities. Yup. Choose your actions carefully. It's a nice cabin. If it had good Wi-Fi connection, I'd live there. It'd be a great place to stream if there was great internet connection. Don't have to worry about no like outside noise. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. it is Sam's like cool. She's a huge crush on my I'm not making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Yo, cringe much. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. No, you got someone who lives up there. Excuse me. Yo, Josh, my man. Oh, you poor lad. What are you doing? Jeez, Josh. Wait a second. What am I doing? settings subtitles uh give me this okay once again brother you've outdone us all i need them subtitles Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Winky face. Mike with three X's. Oh my god. 
What did our naive sister get herself into now? Naivete. I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. This part is cringe. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah? You know that? And there she goes. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. We're not gonna wake up Josh. He's drunk, so we're gonna find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? He's passed the hell out. Hannah, what's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Savage. Oh, yep. Uh, a quick time event. Square. Well, it doesn't matter what happens this round. the prologue. All this is gonna happen anyway. I pushed the wrong button. Hannah. It's L1 to walk a little bit faster. Ooga booga with the deer. Oh no. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Hello. How you doing? Ooh, look at the totem. That's a major oof, my guy. Flamethrower! What the hell was that? Anna! Anna! Hello? Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing! Here, take my coat! Yes, <laughs> take the coat! Idiot. That's so dumb! Little bit! Their phone. Oh, no. No, oh no, it's a monster. No, 
Yoshi Sleepy. Hold on. Hey, let's drop her. Cause she falls anyway. <laughs> Savage. Hello, Dr. Hill. Before we begin. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. What is that? You see, no one can change what happened last year. See, told the you. It's beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. To the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game, every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. I have. It's significant. It is. And I want to help you see it through. Do you? Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential. That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. See, in order to make me answer honestly, you're going to have to give me an option more than two. Cool. Nice. Very scenic. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Neither of these, but this one more. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Yeah. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Cool. I don't care. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting on something. Uh, Spiders. I wonder what it is that doesn't frighten you. I really do. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Oh, we shall! Another year? How about, you know, 
Did you just take me already? Did you ever think of that? I don't have to wait a whole year. Maybe a month. Just let me get some shit in order. Clear my browser history. I don't even really need a month. Give me like a few hours to get some shit in order. There you go, just take me and it'll be good. Just, just give me a heads up, you know. Do some shit I never, I always wanted to do, but Today is the one worried about it getting in trouble. That'd be cool, but I'm a sane person, so can't be going doing that. Update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. <laughs> Zoltan put it good, <laughs> like, I'm not suicidal, but I would like to die naturally soon. The old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond How awesome come you didn't edit that out, you guys dude? All back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Yo! So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Let's go! Yes. Yeah! Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. Oh no! Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, adventurous.
I know that you play as everyone in the game and like you just swap between everyone so everyone is the main character and then they're just like the side guy and then the Wendigo. But I would argue that Sam is the main character of the game. And I accidentally killed her in my first playthrough. I got so mad at myself. I can't just climb the damn wall. Oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over. Quick. <sighs> Jump. Good job, Sam. Now a little hop off. Come on, do the little hop. Little hop off. Aww. Ooh, ooh. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Okay. That. That. Can get really screwy. Like, I shake naturally, I guess. Because there are times where I'm like, I will not move. And it will fail me. It's like, I didn't move. Like, I don't shake that bad. It's just a little, a little bit. That's why it's hard for me to take pictures. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're just explaining the butterflies. I don't know if I'm going to be going totem hunting. Even though I technically should be since I need the trophy for it. Th thank you. Hurry crap. Way ahead of you, dude. Yep. Yeah, I already accidentally pushed that button. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Neat. Let's just let's just move on. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> Hello. Well, there are some things we want to investigate to change some of the dialogue. We're gonna be a good person. Maybe I shouldn't know about Chris's stuff. Chris. Sam. Hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. What's up, Chris? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. Is it? What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Going to blow your mind. Uh, get a visit from America's most wanted? Oh, it's just talking about the guy oh, come on. that's, you know, killing the Wendigo. Well, doing his best anyway. Ta-da! Ta -da. Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Why isn't there a shooting range at the bottom of a ski lodge? Like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. 
All right. Here goes. Oh, it wants me to shoot at that. I play a lot of Apex. I pushed R2. Nothing happened. I'm pushing R2. You can hear me spamming it. Bruh, I'm pushing the button. There. Holy crap. It's like, dude, I'm pushing the button. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Beginner my ass. Bam. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No, we're not gonna shoot the squirrel. Shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> sacked. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah, now that you're letting me pull the trigger. to keep it locked to keep people out he said that what people i i don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy so give them some place to sleep to so just sleeping and not hurting anybody or not hurting the building not vandalizing let them sleep let them get out of the cold damn it to set up house I mean, no matter how rich you are they're not so rich they only bought a mountain bought half a mountain huh? why do you say huh there's nothing on the screen there Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> it's a good you thing he likes Ashley. Stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third yes. Day. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where 
where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone right now or, or talking to some other person. I don't know. I think there would have been another way you guys would have met, like recess or something. I don't know. I think there would have been another way you guys could have met up. Like, you are in the same class. It's not crazy. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, <laughs> trusting, and irrelevant. That's not the word. It is not irrelevant. <laughs> it's irreverent. Gotta be honest. I'm gonna have to Google that word. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Well, I mean, technically she is relevant. She's barely in the game. She's mostly lost and bloody. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Over here! Are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Alright, uh... Do I want to release it though? How long? How long can I keep the button here? Eh, no. Nah. Oh my God! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, you should. You can do it anyway. Got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have Chris. here? My goodness, seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, let's just explain. Mike and M split were together. Whoa, drama. Drama. Really actually, M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Oh, you I heard mean, him. You know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Good view. view. I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Looks like a Bob Ross painting. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Well, where would the view be from there? Emily. Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like It'd be it. good, yes, but it's not gonna be as good from up there. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. So... Emily has a thing for guys with the letter M. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? And I am Matt. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> It's Mike! It's Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Why would he be labeled as Emily's ex instead of Ashley's new, boyf new boyfriend? <laughs> you got it. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. You didn't really get me because I was expecting it. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Just well, a little harmless fun. Spooky, 
Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Yeah, get into the spirit the of things. Of thing? Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you, like woman? Movie, Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. We're all friends here. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, Both why? the bags that I you were already can. carrying anyway. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Let's just go. All right. Fine. No need to push. I guess I can pack Whatever. Push the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. No, Matt, stand your ground. You up there, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah, you you agree to take your bags up. You gotta stand your ground a little. Don't just take it. Stand your ground a little bit. Don't go full simp. You gotta go half simp. You gotta stand your ground a little, though. Ashley has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. She's also actually a little stupid. Oh, uh, yep, we're looking for Mike and Emily. Right. Right there. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Absolutely. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Jessica. Nah, screw books. We're gonna go with technology. <laughs> you made her drop her you phone. Did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We got you surrounded. <clears throat> the hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Whoop ya! Oh. <laughs> right in the voice. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? 
Oh, oh Hey. Oh snap. Sorry, Kit. Not getting hit today, and I'm not gonna hit that bird. Come on. Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, shakalaka la. <laughs> Michael, I know all your tricks. It's gonna stop you if you won't let it go. Whoop oh, yeah! Right. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Ooh. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy <clears throat> opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Grab the snowball. Ah! Oh ho ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah can we move on from all this gross relationship crap? Can we get on to the spooks?
What a banger, bro. Oh my fucking god. 